Hi everyone, Julia here recording this August 20th, 2024. And uh, yeah, how to keep your frequency optimal and not stress and not worry because those things just lead to unpleasant feelings and also often lead to manifesting outcomes that you really don't want. And I was thinking about ways to uh, keep our frequency optimal and to not do those things, worry and stress out because as I said before, worrying is a form of intention. And if you don't manifest the exact thing you're worried about, you're in that vibration of something negative is going to happen. And that's what comes to you. We live in a very magical realm. Oh my gosh, if you just pay attention to all the synchronicities, all the so-called coincidences that led you to where you are and to so many great things that's happened throughout your life you know if you just look back and trace through all the things that happened it's just miraculous and awe-inspiring and that's one way to uh, keep an optimal frequency is to realize what an honor and privilege it is to be here whatever this place is you know if it's like the materialists say that we're all here by happenstance and just by luck elements came together and went from a single-celled organism to what we are now and we came out of nothing and we go back to nothing and we have this short life and before it, there was nothing, and after it, there's nothing. Which, I don't subscribe to that notion. But even if you did, that's a good reason to uh, realize what an honor and privilege it is to be here now, to experience this existence. And when you forget that, bring yourself back to that remembering because it really is you know just to watch just watching these dogs be excited about nothing <laughs> running something might be moving up there oh. so uh yeah and just everything in nature and all the connections that we have with other people other beings even inanimate objects and just so much magic there's so much magic to offer we just really have to pay attention to our thoughts and our intentions because our thoughts are our intentions and um, and when we say things it makes it even more powerful toward being manifested because words are very powerful they're vibrations and they don't call it spelling for nothing you're casting spells and this is a world where we can be as magical as we want and uh, we're just in an amazing time in history because you know, we're able to communicate worldwide instantaneously, share information that used to only be able to be shared in small sectors of society. And now anyone who has a thirst for the truth will be led to it via magic and via technology and via relationships, all those things. So, 
yeah we have to really take this ride this show this experience whatever you want to call it just take it for all it's got you know make the most of it and in the end our avatars all expire and something happens either we just go to sleep and never wake up or we go into some other existence and I think most people that are listening to this think that we do go into another existence and other lifetimes other experiences to uh, have a fly buzzing around me I probably heard it <laughs> to um, experience and make the most of what we have here and it's just such a such an opportunity and somehow we got tricked into thinking that it's a punishment that we're here because we were bad kitties no kitty that's my pot pie bad kitty so uh yeah if this is punishment then uh wow we got really cool parents <laughs> really cool whatevers that are you know controlling us because man just constant constant magic and miracles all around us all the time and uh, just start noticing start noticing you know how okay you have an intention that you want something and then all the little details that lead up to that I mean just think of all the the details that went into allowing your avatar the meat suit that you dwell in here to be here now how many you had to have your grandparents your great-grandparents great-great-grandparents and all those people had to survive all the things that they had to survive in their time to get you here that that time of conception you know that one little swimmer got to that egg out of millions or billions of them and voila it gave you this this body to use and you you're an eternal being you keep going it's like when you turn off a radio or you break a radio you crash it cr crush it the signal is still out there you can go get another radio and find that same signal and so we are like into the signal we're not the radio it's just the vehicle that we're coming through something that we use in this reality so we can navigate this realm we have our body we have our mind and we have our identities and if you got some negative identities that you would like to get rid of then let me know mace energy method will do you some wonders it's very cool stuff all right everyone thanks for listening i hope you have a good morning afternoon or evening wherever you are remember stay focused on what you want help others if you can remember to have some fun and remember to be honored to be here ciao ciao